Today's tutorial is kind of a follow on from my guide to creating custom camouflage patterns in Adobe Photoshop from back in 2019. In that previous tutorial I shared some useful techniques for creating a variety of camo pattern styles using nothing but Photoshop filters. All those camo patterns comprised of random blobs and shapes, so this tutorial will focus on creating the more modern digital pattern styles that are made up of tiny pixel like squares. Using a similar process we can create disruptive digital camo patterns that can be regenerated with a random result every time. By modifying the colour scheme we can even replicate modern day military camouflage patterns such as the US Marines Marpat camo or the Canadian CADPAT. To create your digital camo pattern create a new document in Adobe Photoshop. I'm using a 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas to provide plenty of space to see a variety of randomised shapes. But stick around until the end and I'll show you how this method allows you to create camo patterns of any size without any repetition whatsoever. First we need to create a background colour for the camo pattern. Add a solid colour adjustment layer so it can be easily updated later. I'm using 8E6 D5E as the base colour of the Marpat colour scheme. Create a new layer then go to filter and convert for smart filters so all the effects settings can be adjusted. Begin adding a series of filters, starting with clouds, followed by difference clouds under the render menu. Go to filter, blur and motion blur next. Enter a figure of around 140 pixels with an angle of 0. Apply a filter, pixelate and mosaic effect next with 20 for the cell size. Next go to image adjustments and threshold. Move the slider to generate an array of pixelated shapes. Double click the layer to open the layer styles options. Then move the blend if slider a tiny amount to set the value to 1, which is just enough to make the black area transparent so the background colour from the solid colour adjustment layer shows through. Add another solid colour adjustment layer right at the top of the stack. Use the hue 3F5149, an olive green colour. Set the blending mode to multiply, then hold the alt key and click between the layers to clip the colour to just the pixel pattern layer. If you look closely at the real life Marpat and Cadpat patterns, they feature lots of tiny detailed pixel squares. The smaller details of our effect are lost as part of the motion blur settings, which gives it the horizontal layout, but we can layer up another pixel pattern to apply some additional details. Select layer 1 and use the command and J shortcut to duplicate it. Edit the name to layer 1 details. Double click the mosaic filter then edit the cell size to 15. Hold the ALT key and click between the layers to make this layer a clipping mask too, so the same solid colour adjustment layer is also applied to these shapes. Double click the clouds or difference clouds effects to regenerate a new random layout. The new smaller squares will blend with the larger shapes, but add more irregularities to the outline. Turn off the motion blur effect for this layer so the pixel pattern creates vertical shapes as well as horizontal shapes. Double click the threshold effect to adjust how dense or sparse the spread of detail pixels should be. You can also adjust the threshold value for the large shape layer too, to find the perfect balance between the two colours. Select the solid colour adjustment layer and the two pixel pattern layers and create a group with the command and G shortcut. Give it the name colour1. Drag this group onto the new layer icon or use the command and J shortcut to make a duplicate. Rename it to colour2. Edit all the settings to completely regenerate the effect to create a new layer to the camouflage pattern, starting with the colour fill. This time use a darker hue of 2F2931. Double click the clouds or difference clouds effects to regenerate a new random layout. Then adjust the threshold values to determine how sparse or dense this layer should be. Adjust the motion blur amount to a much higher figure such as 250 pixels to stretch the shapes into longer horizontal stripes. Create a third duplicate of the group for colour number 3. Adjust the settings again using the colour B0978B for the solid colour adjustment layer. Regenerate the patterns but this time turn off the motion blur for the larger shapes too. Alter the threshold values to make this layer a sporadic layout of base shapes. You might notice that this pattern doesn't look like it will seamlessly repeat. And that's right, but what these smart filters can do, which any ordinary pattern can't, is automatically regenerate to fill an area of any size with no repetition in the pattern at all. Go to image and canvas size. 
and to much larger dimensions and watch how Photoshop will reproduce all the pixel shapes to fill the new area, retaining the overall effect but with a completely unique layout. Since this entire pattern is made using non-destructive adjustment layers, it's easy to edit and customise the colour scheme. Here's a few additional colour values I saved to recreate the real-life Canadian CADPAT camouflage, Desert Marpat, or even Marpat Urban. The final result is an intricate pixel-based digital camouflage pattern that can be regenerated with infinite layouts and unique colour schemes. As I explained in my other camouflage pattern tutorial, using similar techniques you can also create endless traditional camo pattern styles with various blobs, shapes and brushstroke effects. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.